Following one of the wokest pieces of television programming I've ever seen in my entire life, the ratings for Doctor Who have taken a significant decline with their second uh, 60th anniversary episode special. Before we get into this here, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. So over here at thatparkplace.com, wrote this article up earlier this morning. Doctor Who ratings plummet a quarter of a million viewers after show pushes transgender pop propaganda in 60th anniversary special. And indeed, that is what that 60th anniversary special, the Star Beast, did. That was the first one that saw the return of David Tennant as the 14th Doctor and Catherine Tate as Donna Noble. That initial uh, special racked up 5.08 million viewers in overnight numbers. The show would go on to bring in 7.61 million viewers in the United Kingdom. The second special, which just released earlier this week, Wild the Blue Yonder, saw a decline in the show's overnight ratings, according to Doctor Who Guide. It only brought in 4.83 million viewers. That's a decline of nearly 5% in viewership, but a quarter of a million people. Full viewership numbers for the United Kingdom have not been released yet. Uh, we'll see if it uh, gets anywhere close to that 7.61 million number. Likely not, given we're already seeing a decline of a quarter of a million and a decline of 5% uh, just in the overnight number. So it's probably going to be far off at 7.61 million number. We'll see exactly how much as the week progressive progresses. But uh, you might be thinking that's not a lot. Uh, it, it isn't. I wish it was a lot more. I wish we saw like a 50% decline. Uh, but uh, that's just the, the way it is. There's a lot of people who are indeed bought into this uh, propaganda. They can just kind of ignore it. They don't even uh, watch it uh, or they don't see it. They, they just kind of file it away and they let their brains get poisoned by it. But uh, I still think a quarter of a million people tuning out is a significant portion, a number of people. So that is a huge, huge sign that uh, we did see a quarter of a million people uh, tuning out. And in case you didn't realize how much this had, uh, how woke this show was, uh, Gary Beekler, uh, pop culture expert and lover of old Doctor Who, he also happens to be the host of the YouTube channel Nerdrotic, said the Star Beast was, quote, sacrificed on the altar of agenda and that, uh, quote, the now third reboot of Doctor Who was murdered in its crib. And he noted that the Star Beast episode uh, uh, was in reality a trans allegory. Uh, he went on to detail that a character played by a male actor going by the name of Yasmin Finney plays a 15 year old girl. It's a 20 year old male actor playing a 15 year old girl and that the character is, quote, the centerpiece of the 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who and the message. Uh, in the term, the words of the critical drinker, not for Yasmin's acting ability because that really doesn't exist. It's for the actor's existence, obviously, that being a transgender actor, so called transgender actor. Uh, and he goes on and says, We're told time and time again that Rose is beautiful. That is the uh, name that the character is playing. The character's real name is Jason and is using this fake name as of Rose. Uh, and there's at least he goes, he shared half a dozen clips, and there's probably more than that from the special as well. I mean, they hammered it over and over and over again, especially in those first 10, 15 minutes that this uh, male character is quote unquote beautiful, uh, which is objectively not true. Uh, and anyone with like using their actual eyes can see that. Uh, Beekler also shared a clip from the special where the doctor gets lectured on his pronoun usage and immediately apologizes and adopts what showrunner Russell T. Davis and producers want their viewership to adopt. And I thought this was the most insidious thing that the show does. Uh, you have this lecture on pronouns. The um, uh, Jason decides to tell the doctor, like, how dare you assume this this uh, alien's pronouns? Like, what kind of person are you, you bigot? And the doctor is just like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What are the pronouns that you should be using, asking the alien? It's just an utterly ridiculous, nonsensical piece of conversation. And, and the fact that's what they want you to do, though. They want you to be like the doctor. They want you to immediately apologize and adopt their behavior, which is indeed a lie. And we should not adopt that behavior. But that's what they want you to do. And they're trying to indoctrinate you uh, through the uh, through the doctor and Doctor Who. But not only did we get a quarter of a million people tune out, uh, and they tuned out probably for good reason because the show doubled down on its woke narrative. Uh, YouTuber Ryan Cannell noted the, uh, the show race swap star Isaac Newton made him an Indian, and they also turned the doctor into a sodomite. This is what he said. He said, it seemed like they already hit a low point, but as we say all the time, it can always get worse. And it looks like it has got worse because when they brought back David Tennant, a beloved doctor that so many people had great memories of, people were like, huh, I wonder what they're going to do with him. Well, of course, you knew not only were they going to embarrass him, make an entire episode about a trans allegory and how he's just an idiot because he's a male presenting doctor. Again, those are the words they actually use in the show uh, in that first of the Star Beast episode. But then in the next episode, they would double down. And this time they were going to reveal to you that, by the way, David Tennant's doctor is gay now. 
He then added, not only are we going to turn the doctor gay, we're also going to turn Isaac Newton into an Indian, apparently. So continuing to double down on the wokeness, trying to indoctrinate you into disordered lifestyles and make you accept it as normal when indeed it is not. <clears throat> I think the fact that we're already seeing a quarter of a million people tuning out from these specials is good news. And I think we're going to continue to see a decline due to uh, this woke messaging. I think people naturally reject it. it. Might take some people a little bit longer to catch on to it. But uh, even though that, that one was just hammering, it was so woke, just hammering you over the head over and over and over again. Uh, I, I do think that we are going to see the ratings continue to plummet. I think we're probably going to see ratings lower than the worst of the worst of Jodie Whittaker's uh, Doctor Who um, run the worst was legend of the sea devils it only brought in 3.47 million viewers back in 2022 and that was the penultimate episode uh for whitaker's uh doctor so i think we we're going to see viewership lower than that and i think it's going to be consistently lower than that especially when they get the shooty gatwa doctor in full steam and they no longer have kind of the david Tennant member berries uh to rely on uh, but let me know what you think of the Doctor Who ratings already in decline uh, with this second special. Let me know in the comments below.